Hey up everyone, Farmer Daly here at Cannon Hall Farm. Uh, I'm just up at Roundhouse and I thought while we're here we'll do a little bit of uh, a catch up as we get closer and closer with our two Shire horses, Orchid and Ruby. Uh, who are due, or should I say our two pregnant Shire horses, who are due in uh, February, which is very very close, and uh, April respectively. So Ruby's due in February and Orchid's due in April. Uh, and see how they're going on, see if we can see any changes yet because uh, at the end of the day that's what we're looking for we're looking to start to see the bellies dropping and maybe the bags filling up and uh, see if we can see a foal kicking you just never know right then, so I think it's probably three or four weeks since we last did an update on them so, uh, you know there'll be there'll be changes to see I imagine there'll be, uh, there'll be things that we can see now that we couldn't see three or four weeks ago so we'll go first in with Orchid oh the lovely orchid. They call you orchid, don't they, girl? But I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Oh, good girl. Aren't you? You're a lovely horse. Right then. So, um, orchid and ruby. I say it all the time, but I like to remind people. Orchid's a lot taller, and she's got a much bigger marking on the nose, aren't you? Much bigger, but other than that, they are very similar. Unless you start looking at the socks. Um, so, orchid's belly. Are you going to be okay? Let's see you there. there you go, girl. Um, so, orchid is due in April, and initially, we thought she was showing a little bit more than Ruby was. So, her belly looked a little bit larger, which made us think, oh well, who's going to, who's going to go first? Um, and that may still be the case. But we'll have a look at Ruby in a second and see what we think. We're super excited for the uh, for the arrival of both these foals. Uh, we've got his fingers, his toes, and everything crossed for a nice, safe um, delivery, and that they do it on their own, and that we don't have to get involved, and that everything goes swimmingly. Uh, we didn't have any Shire foals here at the farm last year, so uh, it's would I say there's some renewed uh, there's some renewed anxiety? I think is I would say it. But we're uh, we're very very much looking forward to it, uh, excited and nervous at the same time. Now then. I think she is showing a little bit more than she was. Um, now shires can come early. Um, it's a year-long gestation, and they can come a bit uh, a bit early, or they can go a bit late. Same with uh, same with any horse. Uh, the, the the gestation is 12 months, but some come early, some do come a little bit late. And shires can have the tendency to go over as as much as they can uh, come early because they're growing some fairly big little falls in the bellies. So Ruby's coming on. You can see that if I get down the side of her ear. You can see that uh, bump there now. Right, let's go have a look at Ruby. We'll see you in a little bit, madam. Right then, here's Ruby. Uh, she's she's a bit smaller, and she's got smaller markings on her face, and her socks are a bit different. So that's how we know the difference. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, you chupper. Chupper, chupper. She's so friendly, so steady, and uh, she's she's just such a relaxed horse, which is, uh, she's a pleasure to be around, to be completely honest. Right then, watch my coat though. Don't go nibbling on my buttons. So, let's have a look. What do we think? Oh, I think there's definitely uh, definitely a fall there. So you can start to see a belly sticking out at the side there. And I dare say what it was Ruth who pointed this out. She's not quite as prominent when you look at her from the side. But then if you do sort of look underneath the belly, there, can you see that sort of angle? Uh, it's quite big. Neither of them are showing uh, any signs in the udders yet. And of course, Ruby's technically... Um, eight weeks ahead of Orchid, so uh, we're hoping we're hoping the dates are right. And we're hoping we ain't got you mixed up. Mm -hmm. We haven't, but uh, very very exciting. Now, Ruby's last fall, Sapphire, uh, was a bit of a handful. Um, to be honest, she was a, a bit of a madam from the day she was born, and we're hoping that you might have a little bit of a steadier fall this time. Uh, that's what we're hoping for anyway but you can see uh, there is a bit of a difference i can't see i haven't seen any kicking yet but um she's doing really really well so just a quick update on how they're both doing um they've changed a little bit but not dramatically i'm still waiting to come in and look and be like a wreck they are definitely giving birth soon but we're not quite there yet but we'll uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on it so thanks for watching everyone i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you soon. We're going to keep you updated on pretty much a weekly basis now. So you'll be seeing uh, you'll be seeing plenty of these girls in the next few weeks. Uh, we'll see you later from me and Ruby. I'll see you. Bye.